Hello everybody, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. Last time, we made our way to Dolor Keep, and today is our final battle. The long war had been fought, Arcanea's many lands freed. And now, the League had cornered their archenemy within his castle. They broke into four groups and stormed the four gates of Dolor Keep. Unaware that this was exactly what Medius was expecting. Bravely, these warriors fate had chosen steeled themselves for one last struggle. Alright. Um, yeah, exactly what the narrator just said. Everyone's split into four groups. So, makes it a little tricky, honestly. So you want to position people very well, <laughs> so you don't get uh, caught, caught in a bad situation, is what I'm trying to say here. Let's uh, go through and see who we want to bring with us. I'm going to leave Julian behind in favor of Lorenz, I think. Just because Julian's very frail, and I don't want really want that here. So Lorenz can take Julian's place. And last time we bought a ton of stat boosters, so I'm going to pass those out before I go around and uh, fix everyone's inventories. Tiki can have a Draco shield. Lind can have one too. I'm going to give the last one to George. Beck can have a talisman. Marth can have another one, too. And Roger. George can have a seraph robe. Along with Minerva. And Caster, I think. Merrick can take an arm scroll. So can Lind. And I'll give the last one to Roger to increase his bow rank. Alright, now I'm going to go outfit everyone's inventories. Okay, everyone's looking good, so now I'm going to shuffle them around on the map. Alright, I think everyone's where I want them. And remember, we're getting Best Boy Roche back, too, so he'll he'll spawn around here. Well, wherever Ellis, wherever Ellis puts him, he'll come back. So we get an extra unit down here. I also gave Marth the Master Key instead of the Vulnerary to open this door. Because I'm not going to bother wiping everyone out, because all we need to, the only person we need to take out is Medius on his throne over here. But the problem is getting there. But I think I'm all set to give it a good shot here, so... Let's go. We made it. Now we just have to find Medieth. Sire, Lord Goto is here to see you. Marth, you have fought splendidly. Lord Goto, what are you doing here? I washed my hands of humankind and their foolish ways long ago. But you and your companions have convinced me that was a rash decision. Perhaps there is hope for you yet. Allow me to offer what help I can. You mean you'll fight with us? Yes. I may lack the power to stop Medius, but his minions are another story. Let this old man strike them down and clear a path for you. The gods have chosen you, Marth, Prince of Light. Go now, and win back a future for us all. Your family would be proud. <sighs> His last words were as follows. Tell my son that I leave the future of Altea and our continent in his hands. Your sister knows that you are the future of Altea, nay, the whole land. Come, my friend. We have a dragon to tame. Help me confine Medieth to the shadow for all eternity and bring light back into the world.
Oh boy. But yeah, we got Goto. Like a last minute, hey, you need some help? Here you go. So yeah, he comes with Thoron, Swarm, Fortify, and Cover. He's very good. So we're gonna make good use of him. And um, before we get around to other business, uh, we'll talk real quick. I don't remember the last time I, like, quote-unquote, legitimately finished this chapter. I usually just warp Marth and Tiki up here to take care of things. So, I'm gonna give it a good try. But I'm confident. I'm confident things are gonna go pretty well. So, I think the first, first order of business is to bring back Roche. There he is! He's back! Uh, he needs weapons, though, so load him up real quick. There we go. Now, uh, let's see. So, Beck. Go up here. Oh, we can't quite do it! Oh, no! Well, I guess I'll wait on that one, because he, he'll get healed otherwise. I don't want to waste a Thunderbolt. Like that, you know? Uh, Harden can reach. If I send Harden down here, how much danger is he actually in? Zero. 20, well, 22 plus zero is still 22. So I think... Let's, let's just... Run in and, uh... I guess I can even save a, uh, Thunderbolt. Let's do this. Because if you notice, there's a bunch of open doors here. They do not stay open. And if you don't have keys, you're screwed. So, you got, kind of got to run. And people pop up on these stairs all the time, and yeah, it's rough. It's kind of a rough chapter. I think we send Roger in. Uh, yeah, Lind can go here. Merrick, I didn't. I still don't get. Still did not give them staves. Oh well. Uh, then can Beck even? Take out that guy. He can't. Uh-oh. And Goto. Oh, they can team up on him. Let's at least open this door. At least bring out... that paladin. Send Abel up. Do that. Deal with that side later. Or in a minute. And yeah, zap this guy. Lawrence can probably bait that guy okay. I send George up here to shoot this guy for all the good it does. Here, other than the swarmer, okay. Yes, that's the dragon pike is the danger. We can back Lena up. How far can that general go? Just there. Let's do that. Okay. 
I'm glad we have like three fortify stabs. Those are gonna come in very handy, I think. Get him, Lawrence. Okay. At least at least the bishop didn't double. Got a little worried about that. This hero is trying his best. Uh-oh. Oh. Jeez, oh. already. Forgive me, Nina. Okay, well, yeah. This one might take a while. Let's see how the rest of my strategy played out, though. Let me speed these guys up. Okay, other, other than that, it wasn't too bad. So, um, I'll be right back. Okay, I had a slightly different strategy. Uh, it's basically just positioning. So, let's have Beck take out this guy and see what happens. Yikes. Harden should be fine this time. Because that hero does nothing. Oh yeah, I took down the pallet and that was there. Good job, Sita. One HP. Okay, they're healing, so that should be the end of the attackers. These guys are all moving. Let me speed them up. Alright, made it through turn one. Progress. Okay, now. Andrew should be good here. If you can take him out, he cannot. And now Roger can take him out. Got a Silver Lance. I like that 91 better than that 70, or whatever it was. Yeah, 71, so do that. Lots of XP from that guy, wow. Lind can just take care of this guy. Alright, and the Leaven Sword. Okay, let's see. Silver Sword, Silver Lance. 
Oh. Okay, so Harden can... Well, can Goto... Okay, Goto cannot reach that guy. Um, I'll move Harden later after I figure out something else. I want to figure out this mess. That should be okay. And a door key. That away for now. Okay, this guy can't hurt Lawrence. So I'll do that. Take the hits. Or dodge them. And I'll come back to back. What's going on over here? Bye. I don't know if Minerva had a hammer. Yikes. Well, let's, um, do this. Dodge it? Dang. Then we still have uh, Goto and Ellis to fortify. So Lena could finish off him. And Caster can take care of the Swarmer. Probably. Okay, good. Yeah, d we won't chance it. Go for Silver Bow. Okay. Yay, more strength and speed. Okay. Then... We need help over this way. So... Send Abel. do that. Can't use that. And then... Get Roche out here. Um, I don't think Ellis... Well, I, hmm, because there's this area that I'm kind of scared of. People might pop out of here. I'm not going to go check the vendor. They probably just sell keys and stuff. But if people pop out of there, I don't want Ellis back here alone. I was going to say just leave her here, but... Let's, uh, what does she need? So one physic. I'm gonna actually give her the Geo Sphere. It's a weird choice, but I kind of feel it might come in handy. I'm gonna use a Fortify too. Okay, okay, okay. Kind of wish Fortify healed more. Oh, Merrick's in danger. 
Uh, 28 attack, 5 defense. Yeah, Merrick needs to be healed more. Oops. Um, shoot. And let's have Goto fortify as well. See, it's more magic, it might heal more. Looks like it did. That's good. So I'll pardon take down this guy. Who's left? Beck and Marth and Zeta, okay. Beck can do that. Okay. Alright, there's that. Let's park Sita here, I guess. Bring Martha up. Alright, let's see what the damage is. Yikes. At least he's gone. I don't think the hero can reach Merrick. More defense, yay. Oh no, we can. Shoot. Dodge. Dang it. Sire, I was glad to know you. I might be in trouble here. Come on, Lawrence. That door just shut. Oh, no, the door shut in turn two. She can go either way, though. That's kind of funny. They're stuck, though. Guess it doesn't really matter. But, um, I guess I'll be back again. Alright, I'm back at the end of turn two again. So let's, uh, move Marth up here. Move Goto out. Oh, do we want to move Goto out? Move Goto there to fortify. And then hopefully we survive. Hopefully. Okay, maybe they do heal before they're done attacking. Kinda don't like that. I like the tell of healing being the end of the turn. But I guess they're smarter than that. Let's go for the guy with the Rider's Bane, yeah. Oh, I can go hit him twice, I guess that's why. Don't like him. Okay, a couple doors closed. But we survived. Let's, um... Reassess here. Those two are stuck. Because I did not give them keys. But I did give Merrick a key. And I finally gave them staves. So, that's gonna be a help. Alright, uh, where to start? This problem is probably where we should start. Back down here, Aerospate. 
Or can he finally take out that Bellistician? Ah, uh, yeah, let's uh, take him out first. That's probably more important. Okay, good, he's gone. Woohoo. Also, I kind of want to pop this save. If I can, if I can afford to spend anyone's turn doing that. I should be able to, like we can just bar these guys off. They're not, they shouldn't be too big of a problem. They don't even have lances, so yeah. Are uh, we gonna, oh, nope, don't want to do that. Let's have uh, Abel finish this guy off. Mark and Sita can probably take care of these guys, no problem. Or not. Marth can, though. Still don't like him. I think Sita would be fine doing that. What's this guy up to? Yeah, so I think Mark and Sita can take care of this crowd. Maybe even, maybe even do that. Let them come to me. Now I'm scared to do that because I've moved so many people. Um... Yeah, we can at least do this. leave them here for now, I think. I'll have to leave them there, but like, I won't move them. I uh, kind of want to get Ellis past this door. So I'll have her use Fortify. that general. Roger can walk out of the door. This guy doesn't do much, but I'll hit him with the javelin so we can at least counter him. We can open the door next turn with Merrick. More XP might come in handy. Uh, move Tiki on up a little bit. Orange. Oh yeah, can it go to swarm anybody? That would actually help. Ah. Uh, well. Because Lena's fortify will heal everybody up all the way. Let's hit uh, that guy for now. And yeah, Lena can fortify. We should be good. Feeling good about that turn.
That's still so cool. I love the second swing on, on a second attack there. And Mart's finally at level 30 and he gets HP and luck. Of course he does. I wouldn't have it any other way. Damn, so yeah, Mart's at uh, cap level now. Oh no. Oh no. Do not like that. I'll come back to them. I only have one Thunderbolt left. Uh. Uh, this guy needs to go away. This dragon's not really a threat, so I might just leave Minerva here for now. Well, what, what, what happens if I put them up against each other? Nothing good. I'd love to block that, though. Let's do her there for now. Still really want to use a save point. Well, Sita could fly in there and help out. Or not. Yeah, I don't like that, actually. Abel? Abel can't reach. Now, Ellis Fortify now. Seventeen. It's not bad. Now, Roger, take care of this guy. And unfortunately, I have to move Harden. Merrick can open the door. But that guy shouldn't do... Yeah. This guy's donezo. And most... I think everyone could survive a one-shot from the Pachyderm. Move Marth. There or Sita? Let's put Sita. So Marth can come up. As far as he can. Get Tiki up there. Bring Abel up. Oh, Abel might be able to lure out that guy. We can at least do this. This should be fine. One speed. Thank you, Abel. We 
Maybe the Wrens can even come over here to help out. Yeah, let's send the Wrens this way. Where can that dragon go? Okay. Lena can fortify. Can these two take out Bellas? They can. Let's do that. And that should be another successful turn. How far can Beck go to? Not that far. Okay. Just kind of get him moving a little bit. There we go. Godspeed, Thunderbolt. Okay. That looks good. This looks good. Fine. Yep, yep, yep. Knew there's gonna be lots of guys down here. Oh. Well. You're fine, right, Lena? Yeah, she's fine. Lure him out of the dragon's range, though. Maybe even equip, like, a uh, steel lance to bait, bait him to Minerva. So we won't attack Lena, because Lena can counter, you know? We can move Lena last. Get Lawrence onto these stairs for sure. Bring these guys out and down. Pop Roger there for now. help someone. That's got to decide who. Okay, who's actually able to reach that save point, though? Sniper? I'll use this in case Marth should be fine there. Okay. You can do that. That probably. Thank you, Ellis. Wish I could like relock a door. So I don't know if that one ever closes on its own. Leaving Abel there is probably not a bad idea.
do that one. Yay, Beck. And finish him off. What if there's a way I can bait him into that spot? Maybe in a few turns, but... Oh, George has the longbow. If I stick her there, he might get in range. Defense? Dang. Everything else. Okay, just go toe left. Uh, he probably wants to fortify over a swarm well. That one's really in danger or hurt. He can swarm somebody. Or should he swarm? The cleric? Yeah, probably. Or you can miss at a 95. Thank you, Goto. He's old. He doesn't see very well anymore. I guess. Oh, hello. Good dodge from Lena. I'll take that. Not like these four. Okay, that door's closed. I was really hoping this one would close. Uh, yikes. Oh, we're stuck in here. Uh, America's a key. That's fine. Finish off this guy, no problem. Thank you. Finish off that guy. Let's see, I guess we can just... 30... Come on, Mar. Come on. That's what Sita's... Nope, Sita can't do anything. Uh, no, he's a mage dragon, so Goto can't hope. Come on, Mar. Jeez. Geosphere. Uh, I don't know if that's quite worth it yet. But that's an option. Or we can just eat the blow. I mean, 20 and several fortifies will get him back up. Maybe support from Cito will give him a boost? Nope. Okay, well, crit maybe? Nope. Come on, Mar. At least he dodged. That's fi that's fine. Shoot that guy. A little bit. Hey, nice. Uh, I'm 
Dragon Pike, Javelin. Well, if we move, if we do that. Let's get her out of there. Neat. Dragon Pike can go there. Javelin. And back rochet up like one more space. Harden's always getting out of the way of these doors. Move some of these guys out. Uh I wanna keep those stairs blocked for now. So, Goto time, I guess. He can come back down here. Hop out a little bit. Uh, do we need to fortify? It can't hurt. We have so many of them. But... Yeah, Lena can't even use her staff, so everyone's fully healed. Let's call that a turn. The way to Medius is open. Good job, Roche. Yeah, Roche can hold the line here. Probably. Hey! They shut off that mana key. Excellent. Now we can sh block off the staircase. I'll take it. Okay, let's see. Uh, he has 1-2 range, which is fantastic. So we'll have to lure out Axe Guy. Let's even Tiki in closer and then see that. Okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. Don't want Medius getting healed any more than he already will. Or anybody for that matter. Get all the back up over this way. Might as well finish him off. Silver Sword and Javelin. Oh, she can take that just fine. Fortify there. Should we swarm? Uh, let's swarm the over sword guy. And that should be that. Yeah. Hey, Marth can one-shot this one. And dodge. That's what we like to see, Marth. Thank you. laughs at this one. Get out of here.
Oh no, there's more. But we're here. What can Marth do to him? 31 and takes 25. Tiki dies. And these guys both save. Yeah, they both reach. Yeah, okay. I can't see. Alright, um... Hey, what's this guy do to Marth? 21 if he hits. And 25, but we'll get healed. Well, you know, we could probably just take care of this guy now. I think we should have another turn before he spawns again. Let's do that. And Silver Axe guy. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Back. He's always one off. Able to take care of that guy. Roche can do that. Quit the crit. Just to show off. Get some help over there. Over there. Um. Send Merrick and Lind this way for reasons. Fortify up. Goto. And let's swarm that mannequin. Get Roche a bit of an easier job. And call that good. Yikes. Get him, Roche. Do it again. Oh, jeez. Dragon's doubling Roche. I do not like that. Oh, shoot. Thirteen. 16 and 13 is not 35. Oh, I should be able to take him down anyway, I think. Fence, I'll take it. So let's shoot this guy. Where's Merrick? Yeah, I get. Let's do that. Mirak can snag the Swarm Tome. HP and luck go to on your only level. Of course it is. I love this game. I can do that. Merrick finish that guy off. Good. 
good. Actually, let's get Lind back down here and play past the Swarm Tome. Lind, get back down here. She can't reach anybody, but we'll bring her down here anyway. Get Marth in position. Uh, what's Minus' crit? Zero. Okay. So Marth can wait here. Seed in support range. Bring Tiki down. Fortify up. And again. Here we go. Medius is about to attack. Foolish humans, you dare disturb me while I slumber. Oh, how you will regret it as you die slowly, painfully, writhing in the fires of the inferno. Kinda of hoping Marth would dodge that. Oh well. He's fine. That's looking pretty good for us. Yeah, 100% hit. 31 damage, 29 HP. We've been here long enough, let's... Let's finish off Medius. Defeated again! By humans! Know this, Altaian Prince. That light which surrounds you is only a temporary respite. So long as the darkness in your hearts continues to sustain me, I cannot be destroyed. Ah! And that's that. Let's see how this tale ends. After Medius's demise, Dolor would relax its shadowy grip on the land and fade into obscurity. The Empire was finished. The fires of war that had raged across Arcanea would die, and light would come to take darkness's place. But before any of that came to pass, there are a few final moments of Marth's tale that need telling. Marth, you did it. It's finally over. I've waited a long time for this day, and now I'm not entirely certain what to do with it. Marth, um, we haven't talked much since leaving Talus, but I thought, do you know where you'll be going? To Altea, of course. War had left my kingdom in Thamble. I cannot wait another day. I must return to help rebuild. So, I suppose that means you have I suppose that means you have bid Talus farewell for good. Don't be silly, Theta. I need to go I need to at least go and thank your father and tell him the fighting is done. My father? Marth, I'm not asking about my never mind. Please excuse me. Marth, did something happen? I just passed Sita, and she looked heartbroken. No, well, we were just talking, and he asked me... Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Marth. How can a man who faced the Shadow Dragon be, be so desperate to avoid facing his own feelings? I... my... what? I don't know what you are talking about. You wish to send Sita home to Talus, then, and return to Altea alone? That is what you want? Well... That's where we both belong. I don't see what my wants have to do with anything. Clearly not. Marth, if you have anything to say to say, say to Sita, say it now. Love cannot always make the leap from heart to heart by itself. Sometimes you must speak it aloud and give it wings. Surely a great leader like you can muster the courage for that. Eat 
Ida, might I er have a moment? I did not speak my heart before. When I said I would go to Altea, I well, I had meant I'd hoped you would be at my side. As you said, we have not spoken much since Talith. With you, I felt I never had to say a word. If the battle started to take its toll, you were always there, close by. I would see you there, so beautiful, <clears throat> so brave. And I would, um, derive, yes, derive great strength. Derive. Ugh, why is this so difficult? Theta, I'm just trying to tell you I... Marth. Shh. Me too. Me too. So concludes the tale of Falchion, Blade of Light, Marth, its wielder, and his battle with the Shadow Dragon. Herein its events have been chronicled, that none may ever forget. There we go. Now it'll show us how well we played, basically. Well, not how well, but how fast and how many turns. You can see. You, have, you, can, you can see. But yeah, um... That's Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. This was, uh, the first Fire Emblem I ever played on the DS originally. I got it, I don't even know how old it was. Uh, 11, 12-ish, I guess. Because I really liked Marth in Smash Brothers Brawl. And somehow the word got out to my grandparents and they picked it up for me somewhere. So yeah, I, I played that. All like constantly. I've played this game so many times, but I'm still not. <laughs> I just probably tell that great at it, but it's really fun. It's just a good, nice, kind of casual game to play through every so often. I'm trying to think of more to say. I didn't really have anything prepared, but yeah, I, I like Marth. Marth's a good character. He is kind of like a. It's kind of like he has like he has those dorky moments like you saw at the end. He has like serious moments, funny moments. He's a good guy. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna play more Fire Emblem on this channel in the future. Or whatever, which for for what that's worth, I'm gonna play more in the future. Not right away, of course, but eventually I'll get to it. That was the campaign summary. Here we go. Altean Prince, Marth. Marth returned to war-torn war Altea and devoted all his energy to restoring the kingdom to its former glory. He was later crowned king. Talus' heart, Sita. Sita visited her father and Talus before returning to Altea with Marth. The whispers of love warmed the castle halls. These go fast. Bones of Iron, Jagan. After the war, Jagan laid down his lance and became one of Prince Marth's closest advisors. King's voice, Cain. Cain remained in Altea to instruct younger knights in the ways of war. He was a shining example. Never did he neglect his training. Altea's shield, Abel. Abel left the army and opened a small shop. He was to be married, but in the end his fellow knights were his most steadfast companions. Gentle giant, Drog. Drog was put in charge of an outland garrison. People there soon, soon came to love their kind but stalwart protector. The ungagged, Gordon. Gordon squired himself to an Ar Arcanean knight to further his mastery of the bow. Later, he returned to Altea with his brother. Altean healer, Riss. Riss built a monastery and spent his remaining years caring for children who had lost their parents in the war. Loyal Blade, Agma. Agma returned to Talus to serve its people. Perhaps love was not his strong suit. History contains no record of him marrying. The Hatchet, Barst. Barst briefly enlisted in the Arcanean army, but later deserted to become a pirate by some accounts. The Lopper, Bored. Bored returned to his peaceful life as a woodcutter. In time, he became renowned for his craftsmanship. The Chopper, Cord. Cord returned to his peaceful life as a woodcutter. In time, he beca became renowned for his speedy work. 
loving son, Castor. Castor hurried home to his aging mother, medicine in hand. They lived modest lives. Seawalker, Daros. It was back to the sea for Daros by all accounts. Carefree, he departed Arcanea's shores for the last time. Honest Thief, Julian. Julian gave up thievery for good and found an honest job in Macedon. Angel to all, Lena. Lena cared for orphans at a convent in Macedon and doled out love in equal shares to all she met. Silent Sword, Navar. Navar, va Navar vanished after the great struggle, but, he, but, but, but for years impostors appeared, hoping to profit from his reputation the world round. Mirthful Mage, Merrick. After helping Marth stamp out the fires of war, Merrick returned to Kadeen where he continued his magical studies. Dashing Noble, Mathis. Mathis left the army in favor of a dull and predictable life in Macedon. To him, bliss. Coyote, Hardin. Nina offered Hardin her hand in marriage, and so he was crowned the 24th king of House Arcanea. Aurelian hero, Wolf. Wolf remained a knight of Aurelis. He helped rebuild and later captained an elite wolf force known as the Wolf Guard. Aurelian star, Sedgur. Sedgur remained a knight of Aurelis. He helped rebuild and later became vice captain and pillar of the Wolf Guard. Aurelian hope, Roche. Roche left the army, but later returned and became an Aurelian paladin. Records show he resided in Altea for a time. Aurelian son, Violand. Violand remained a knight of Aurelis and helped rebuild. Always, he put the friends with whom he had grown to manhood first. Wise teacher, Wendell. Wendell became the senior mage in Kadeen and embarked on a journey that took him from land to land in pursuit of truth. Big time thief, Rickard. Rickard returned home to live in peace, or so he claimed, even as the area experienced a surge in, a surge in break ins and purse snatchings. Fire dragon, Bantu. Bantu sealed the Dragonstone's power and disappeared, but his wish was to live out his years in the Dol Dolurian countryside. Hired sword, Caesar. History lost track of Caesar after the war. Perhaps he found work as a bodyguard, or perhaps some country made him a general. Lady killer, Rad. Rad fell in love during the war and gave up his sword to win the woman's heart. Whether he succeeded, we shall never know. Still single, Roger. Roger found his way back to Grust in the end, and reached out to the many people whom the war had touched. Perfect shot, George. George worked, di worked dili diligently to re rebuild Arcanea. Later, he was chosen from the palace palace's knights to become archer captain. Petite Princess Maria. After studying in Kadeen for a spell, Princess Maria returned to Macedon to serve her people as a cleric. True leader, Minerva. Minerva put all her effort into restoring Macedon to glory. All wished for her to be queen, all except Minerva herself. Maloa's child, Lind. Lind entered Princess Nina's protection and became a lady at court. Anna's love, Jake. Jake helped rebuild the town destroyed during the war. He and his lover, Anna, always dreamed of traveling to far-off continents. His anchor, Midia. Midia honored her princess's request to remain with the Arcanean Knights and later became their captain. Spitting image, Dolph. Dolph had a short career as a general before leaving the army. Some said the move was a ta tacit rejection of the king-to-be. Dead ringer, Messalin. Messalin left the Ar Arcanean army without a word of explanation. He settled near the border and formed a band of watchmen. Quiet bow, Tomas. No one knows what became of Tomas after the war, but some suggested he returned home to live in peace. Royal Bishop, Boa. Boa resumed his duties as Arcanea's royal bishop, guiding the kingdom while its people got back on their feet. Born shooter, Beck. Beck became famous for subjugating a group of Borderland rebels who, having never seen a ballista, panicked and promptly surrendered. Midia's hero, Astrum. Astrum was made captain of Arcanea's free company. He was given the sword Mercurius, and with it carved quite a name for himself. 
elder sister Pala. The war left this once self-assured knight's heart in knots, but still, Pala works diligently at rebuilding Macedon. Middle sister, Katria. Katria returned to Macedon to rebuild. Love for a certain man flared in her heart, then flickered when it went unrequited. Roaming hero, Samson. Samson continued to ply at mercenary work throughout his life, but never sold his sword to any but those who met his standards. Shapeshifter, Zane. After the war, Zane left without a word. It was not until later that Marth learned his true identity. Little sister, Est. Est fell in love with an Altaian knight and found more happiness in a woman's life than in warrior's. Dragon Sky on weak Tiki. <laughs> Tiki lived a peaceful life with Bantu. She spoke fondly of her adventures with Marth, even long after they had ended. People's man, Lorenz. Lorenz put Grus's prince on the throne and became his regent, but he and Arcanea did not always see eye to eye. Life giver, Ellis. Ellis returned to Altea with Marth. Ever serene, she stood by her brother and watched him grow into a fine leader. White Sage, Goto. At Nina's request, Goto became Archmage of Arcanea. The world never knew a better teacher. Brave Knight, Prey. Prey stayed in Altea to help rebuild his ravaged kingdom. The Volunteer, Norn. Her stint as a warrior over, Norn returned to her home in Altea and lived an unremarkable but happy life. Von Woman, Athena. That she went, nobody knows. One theory is that Athena returned to the Boulder village where she was born. Man of Worth, Horus. Nina pardoned Horus after the war, and he resumed his life as a landed noble. In the years to come, he worked hard to heal Arcanea. Spellslinger, Etzel. The Spellslinger Etzel vanished after the war as quickly as he came. His wanderings took him around the world for years to come. Gravel Yeller, Ymir. The fighting done, Ymir returned to his village in Grust, the one place that had accepted him. He was content the rest of his days. Dragon Ruler, Nagi. Marth would have thanked Nagi after Medius fell, but there was no one to thank. Had she returned home? None ever knew. So there we go. That's the end of Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. I had a good time. I had a good time doing this one. So yeah, thank you all very, very much for watching. Now we'll be back with another Let's Play fairly soon, actually, with something that'll be brand new for everybody. So it'll be fun to experience that for the first time together here. And with that, I guess just... Thank you again one last time here, and I will see you soon.